What's up, everyone, and welcome back to episode five of the Road to SSL series, the series where I show you how I'd rank up as a top 0.1%, almost SSL Rocket League coach. This video is definitely the best yet of the series, the most intense, and we get some very suspicious opponents, as well as teammates. If you've ever been placed with a solo queue teammate that you don't know what to do, this is exactly how I would play it. So this video will be a good one, especially if you're watching around the high diamond or low champ ranks. Also, if you're new here, my name's Luke, and I have over 3K hours in Rocket League but mainly what I do is actually coach and run the Grand Champ Roadmap. If you didn't know, the GCR is Rocket League's largest live coaching program with over 1,600 players now, where we specialize in taking plats through champs up to GC in just six weeks or less. At the time I'm recording this, we're actively recruiting for our Season 12 launch. So if you want to grab that GC or even SSL title, this offers for you. DM me on Discord with the keyword C1. So I know you came from this video and uh, we can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. We just finished off diamond three top of diamond three basically and we are now going into the champ ranks we're going into legendary c1 10 67 right now top of diamond three we're getting into champ and i'm going to start using some mechanics i'm not going to use like super fancy stuff but i'm going to use some mechanics let's get it playing with calm against nadzo and righty still just going to use the diagonal kickoff now here i'm going to get one touch to the center and then i'm going to cut it hard they're not contesting, so I'll just get a 50-50 to stay in. And my teammate is... My teammate's all the way back there. So I'm going to pressure here. I'm going to start shadowing. Be in the way. And what is my teammate doing? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm just going to play back post. Is this guy trolling? Welcome to Diamond 3 Champ 1. I think he's lagging. Oh, he's lagging. That's why. That's all right. So I'm going to grab corner boost here. And I'm going to wait for him to go, and then I'm going to bop it into the wall so he can't hit it. And I'll bop it into the wall again. My teammate should have open. Maybe not. He's getting corner boost. Ball's going to come center. I kind of got to watch net here. Once again, I'm turning and just keeping the whole net in front of me. I'm going to grab side boost here. Oh, I missed it. And teammate throws ball. As usual. We knew that. Just get rotate back post. Be safe. Get a good 50-50. That'll give us control. Gonna wait back center here. Just kind of collect pads, not really commit. No reason to commit here. Let him toss ball. Always turn back. Hit the ball to the side. Just keep letting them, them be the ones tossing ball. Watch the angle for my teammate. This bounce is gonna be a little weird, so I'll kind of play it safe. If he just wants to hit it to my teammate, great. He's using boost. My teammate should have safe. This ball should bounce up. So you can go off the wall, but oh, he's going, so I'll just wait back. He's going, so I'll wait back. And it comes straight to me. That's that's the perk of just waiting. Because so many people just commit. Just look look at the guy going for the ball and just let them do their thing. <laughs> we'll go back. I think that might have been like a half diagonal flip, half speed flip. I don't know. I might have cheated. Here I'm just gonna grab boost, watch the bounce, and just keep it to the side. I don't know how he demoed me. Well, that's okay. Teammates juking him. You're good. I'm just going to collect boost as I move up and wait at half. No reason to commit here. Looks like he still has it. So once again, no reason to commit. I'm just shadowing, buying time for my teammate to get back, controlling corner boost, and blocking his angle. So that way, if he hits it forward, it's very predictable for my teammate. Oh, I accidentally hit that there. So I'm going to do my job and just clear it back to the corner, keep it safe, and now watch him. Watch when he's going. Watch when he's going. Pop it up. Fake jump over one. My teammate challenges, which he probably shouldn't, so I'm going to get back. Once again, control corner, corner boost. Turn back around. Just get a 50-50. Wait till they go. Get a 50-50. My teammate has a 101 now. Tosses it into him. That's fine. Rotate around wide. Wait for the ball to come for an easy bounce. And just get a good 50-50. Once again, my teammate has a 101. If he's faster, we might be able to convert. He can't. Fake jump. Turn back. Play it off to the side. Grab corner boost. Just keep letting them toss. Teammates should have. Nice clear. They bop it to the corner. And here I'm going to control because nobody's challenging me. Play it over one. Get a beat on one. Grab corner boost. Teammate plays it up, which is not ideal. 
I can just jump and get a 50. Jump and get a 50. So we're fine. I'm having to use a little bit of reaction time on defense here, but not impossible for anyone to do. Just gonna get up, up under the ball, clear it there. And now I do have a one-on-one, -on -one, so it's fine to go for a little bit of a dribble. He says he's defending. Okay. That's a little confusing. Left goes, if you guys don't know, left should go. It's just kind of standard. I've never not played with left goes, but it's fine. Wait for my teammate. Nice, he gets a good center. <laughs> that is the epitome of diamond. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Anyways, back to Earth. Uh, we're here. At least I have wit I have you guys in chat witnessing this gameplay, which is the best. Just fake challenge, grab corner boost, let him throw away all his boost. Let him throw away all his boost. And now we have ball back in our corner. He's just throwing away his boost once again. And now we have a free one-on-one. -on -one. Went for a dribble. Doesn't quite work. Fake like I'm going to hit it. But I'm not. And just get behind my teammate. Just get behind him. Rotate all the way around. Drive up, get a 50-50. I want corner boost, but he got it. All good. And it's just in their net. Almost. All right, ball's going to come up here. I'm going to get a soft touch and hit it to the side. Just focus on getting it by them because I don't think that ball's scorable. Ball's going to come here. Just let him continue to flop. If I'm faster there, if I'm allowed to use mechanics, I could beat him, but... Just catching the ball in the up bounce. Watch shot here. And we're totally fine. And now we should get a freebie. Nice shot. <laughs> diamond, folks. Diamond. We're in champ now. Let's go. I think we're in diamond or champ. Yeah? Alright. We are into champ. I think. Okay, so not too bad first game, but before we jump into what was probably the most brutal game of this entire series so far, I want to let you guys know tons of people have been asking me how to actually train the stuff that I'm using here. So I've been putting together lists of my top training pack for every mechanic that you'll need specifically to climb through plat, champ, and diamond. And I'm giving away those free pack lists over on my Discord. So if you haven't joined yet, definitely go check it out. It's the first link down in the description below. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video yeah these guys are all champs they say my recoveries are too clean for champ but i can speed flip okay which is it chat i'm confused we're playing with mike cube and relax i'll pick up a side boost here ball's gonna come center my teammates going for it do i know why no just gonna bounce the ball up make it awkward and retreat once we can't get anything which is fine Teammate gets dunked. I'm going to turn back. It looks like he has a shot, so I'll just be careful. Just going to try to shadow here. And just play patient. All of our boost is getting taken, so I'm going to collect small pads. Pad, pad, pad. <laughs> what the? Yeah. All right, I'll flip. Hit that ball up there. Okay, If you you should be able to finish that if you're champ. I don't, actually. Never mind. Can't, probably shouldn't be allowed to aerial shot. It's whatever. I'm going to wait in that. Teammate gets a clear that way. That's all right. going to keep grabbing boost. Get back in time for a save. Not the best save, but it'll work. Once again, wait in that. My teammate puts a heater on. I want to go, but I can't really. He looks awkward here, so I'm just going to wait. Time, get a good shot. Turn around, grab boost. I have a little bit time to wait and grab boost there because they're struggling on defense. And I'm going to let him get here. Like, pressure him a little bit. Once he's not doing anything, turn and get a shadow. And then, where'd he, where'd that guy go? What happened? I think he got upset. Then he stopped going for the ball. I am so confused. Watch shot. Nothing. I am so beyond confused. What? Teammate gets a good 50, so now I can go for a shot. Put it high, make it awkward. Grab their corner boost. I want to turn back, but I'm just going to let my teammate go. 
Make the rotations easy on him. Is he going? He should go. My teammate should challenge. That way I can clean up. That's what you should do if you're my teammate there. Or at least threaten to challenge. I want to go, but it looks like he's going to go. So, okay. Am I allowed to score that? I'm so confused. <laughs> I think I'm allowed to just shoot that in. I should I should have just shot the ball in, but let my teammate do his thing. Ball's gonna come down here. Put a shot on net. Not the hardest, but I can tip the ball up there and then turn back. Teammate whiffs. Is what it is. Now I'm on a 1v1. But this guy makes his first touch way too heavy. So I'm able to challenge. My teammate gets a good hit there. I might be able to bump him. Almost. Not quite. Threat like I'm going to go. My team should. My teammate should be going here. But he's doing his own thing. And. <laughs> Alright. I'm going again. My commentary has just devolved over the course of this episode. Okay, wait for it to bounce off the wall and then go. Uh, unfortunately, he's there, so I'm just going to get by my teammate and chill. Here, I'm going to wait at half. Ball's coming around. I'm going to start shadowing right here. And just let, let him flick. Let him do all this stuff. Don't panic. Play the ball to the side. Teammate looks like he's struggling. So I'm just going to get back. My teammate looks like he's awkward. Just get back. Cover the net. What the... Okay. All right. Just, I'm not I'm even going to try to understand. Pass the ball to my teammate. He's going to pass it back. Oh my, God. oh my. I've never seen a champ pass the ball back. My God. You see the chemistry? Oh my. <laughs> I've never seen a, a, a champ pass. The ball's going to go over. I'm just going to shadow once again. People will just chuck ball at this rank. Oh, nice shot. Relax, it's only C1. I just noticed this guy's name. Cheat up. Ball's gonna go high. I'm gonna grab half boost. Oh no, he gets it, unfortunately. He, I thought he was missing entirely. But he's not. Let's let them continue to throw the ball away. Control the corner boost. Let my teammate go. Here, I want to go for this ball, but once again, he's posturing like he might go, so. Control it over to the right here. Get a little flick. Gonna have to recover using a half flip. I feel like my recovery was too good there, so I kind of just stopped playing the game. I feel like that's an appropriate response. Like, this guy's mechanics are good. Relax, it's only C1 has good mechanics. But he's in C1, so. It's kind of funny. What? Oh, we're fine. I thought that was just him. I'm going to hit it over to the side here. Oh, looks like he has it. Nope, he doesn't have it. What? I don't know why my teammate pre jump. If he just drives on the ground and then double jumps. The stuff. <laughs> People are saying this guy sniped me. You guys think... You guys think this guy sniped me? Oh, my alarm's going off. Stop. Do you guys think this guy sniped me? Yeah, he d it definitely does. It would appear like he sniped me. My teammate dribbles that ball. I think we win. I'll cheat up. OT! Going into OT. Fake like I'm going, get him to pop ball, give it to my teammate for free, and I can go get boost. Teammate gets bumped because he's a little slow. That's fine. I'll challenge here because it looks like he didn't have good control. Grab boost, turn around. Teammate puts a weak shot on net. He could have just let the ball fall, but that's okay. Fake like I'm going, and then try to get the ball into my corner. Once again, grab boost, avoid demo, get back, cover the net. I can challenge early there because my teammate's back. That's the reason I'm going. He hit ball away, so now I can challenge. And he's right in front of me, so I can look for a demo. Make him awkward. Grab boost. Get out for my teammate. Play back. Once again, he has ball. Everybody's challenging here, so I'm just going to play safe. Hit it to the side. 
Ball's gonna come this way. And now I'm gonna get a hard cut there. If I can, get behind my teammate. He's gonna probably pass ball to me here. Fake challenge I can going. I'm getting diced up, I guess. Just play this small game here. Let him over commit. Now I have a one-on-one. -on -one. I unfortunately get bumped. If you're faster there, you can do better. But it is what it is. Play way back. Let my teammate go. This read is going to be awkward, so I'm just going to play back and cover the net. Get a simple double jump shave, grab boost, get back again. He looks like he's going to pop the ball high, so I'm getting ready to challenge for my teammate. Cover the high ball. My teammate go. If my teammate got any sort of beat, we would be set this game. It is what it is. Grab boost, turn to the side, just dodge demo, come around, cut one to the right, let him hit the ball. Play safe. Nice. I think we should be able to drive here, get his boost, and then turn back. I'm going to stay up here. Only reason is because I know they're low boost. So I want to keep the pressure up because I know I took their corner boost. He'll play it to the center. My teammate should have a follow-up. Oh, so close. Here, I'm going to let this ball come to the center. I'm going to hit one to the side and then get a simple shot on that. Once again, if you have better mechanics, you can do more there, but you know, it is what it is. Grab corner boost, wait back. Ball's gonna come out. Get in the way, get a clear. Once again, get in the way, get a clear. And just trying to cover net over and over for my teammate. Had to get a little mechanical there, sorry guys. Had to hold the wall for my teammate. This guy is not C1. This guy is absolutely has sniped me. I guarantee this guy has sniped me. Okay, teammate just let me go for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This guy has absolutely sniped this game, but that's all right. Let my teammate go here. Make it easy for him. Okay, no, he can't go, so I'm going to grab boost. And I can just take this ball over and just simply follow it like this. So again, he hits it over. Now it's not going that fast, so fine with waiting. Control corner boost. Just wait. This is like an example of how you play the game if you, if you didn't have mechanics and you can't really create goals for your team. I'm kind of just letting my waiting until my teammate creates a goal. Like this is how you play passively as as in 2v2. Still win. Get a simple 50-50, don't overcommit. 50, don't overcommit. My teammate really should be going for the ball, but he's not. So it's good. I'll just play back. Wait for my teammate to go. He gets a good 50-50. Now we should have a one-on-one. -on -one. My first touch was a little too heavy, which is fine. Teammate has another one-on-one. -on -one. See what this leads to. Almost a goal. Nope. All right. Played into the corner. I did kind of let that ball bounce up, which was my mistake. My teammate looks awkward, so we'll have to help him out. Oh, okay. And we lose. I feel like that's... You know what? That should... If you don't have mechanics and you can't get out of C1, that's how you should play the game. And that's probably what should happen. There you go. I feel like I feel like that, that 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 that's a good ending to the episode. I think this is the point where I have to start to use mechanics in the series, but we'll 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 call it here because I think that was a uh, that, that that was a fair representation. Okay, so a little bit of a heartbreaking loss. Going to have to come back in episode 6 with a little more max. And I don't have a stream schedule, so if you want the noty for when I do that, definitely go follow me over on Instagram. Uh, it's just one word, spooklookgram. That's where I post all my live updates and life updates as well. So definitely hit that with a follow if you haven't yet. Otherwise, that's all I've got for this one. Thanks again for watching. And I'll catch y'all soon. Peace guys.